This little one um, was very interesting. I remember I was in what looked like a boardroom, kind of like, I guess, where business people meet. Maybe they come up with ideas like that. And I was talking to someone from, I believe, the AT&T network. Or it was like, I don't know if it was their president or somebody, but it was somebody of like a higher up status for one of these uh, cellular companies. And I was talking to them. And from my right hand side, one of their assistants came up to them and said something to them and then all of a sudden they looked at me and said oh we're gonna we're gonna bring in 6g now and i remember i kind of looked at them like they were they were nuts <laughs> and then it was very interesting that was the whole experience that um they're basically just i was confronting them trying to get them to see what they're doing you know with all this wi-fi and these things and then they were like well we're just gonna bring in the next wave you know and then i could see it would just like never end the next wave and the next wave and so just thought that was kind of an interesting experience to share. Thank you. Yes, we'll all we'll all be getting that, won't we? So in some way, uh, yes, Jeremy. And so just uh, helping the world confirm that would be a interesting experience to share out there and letting people know and and what uh, what all that means uh, as it gets worse. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. In this experience, uh, I would find myself in like, like a school setting or like a classroom setting. And I wasn't one of the students, but I had on, on a class that was being taught. And there was all these students sitting very quietly. You know, they had their hands on the tables and they were listening to what the teacher was saying. So when I look at the teacher and I look at the board, I get this impression that she's trying to, like how you say, indoctrinate make them that what she's teaching them is not of a benefit that it's it's along the lines of the mainstream educational systems for whatever controlling purpose that she had in mind and i walked from the back of the classroom because i walked through like the, the front door the back door to the classroom and i walked all the way to the front and i confirmed the teacher and i told her that i was going to now on and I remember she grabbed my arm as supposed to kind of like pull me off the side or get me in front of the classroom. And when she grabbed my arm, all of this, um, I don't want to say like energy, but I could feel her intent that she really did not want to assist these children or to present what it was that I was going to talk about. I mean, she really had a very, very nasty attitude and domination and I remember I, I sort of I, I her and I kind of somehow I sort of like pushed her away I didn't touch anything but just by me being that I was going to share she somehow got phased out of the scene and I remember I, I sort of commandeered the classroom and I told the kids that I was going to tell them about the new you song I remember they all started like cheering and clapping and stuff and so I just thought that was kind of a fun little experience to you're bothering the teachers again, Jeremy. Yes, yes. I, I know. I was married to a teacher, and uh, teachers are like doctors and lawyers. They, they're the know-it-alls, and what they're teaching is whatever. And, you know, one day I confronted my wife. She was in that car, too, at the time. She went through all that with me for 30 years, and I said, I said, but look, what are you teaching them? You know, yeah, you're the teacher, but what are you teaching them? You know? And at times we would experiment because she taught like second and third grade um, with the uh, the dream aspect of the children having dreams and, and and the experiences there. And some of the parents thought that she was, you know, teaching the kids black magic, etc. Because you get religious people and what have you. So. Uh, yeah, this is our challenge uh, for those that step up to uh, confront this. Uh, at least uh, you have the adventure of confronting it. Um, I like the challenge myself. I don't care, you know, whatever the political system. I'm dealing with the governments of the world here, and they know me uh, uh, all over, etc. And so, uh, and it's. It's all lethal stuff, but uh, I'm fine with confronting them. But again, uh, 
yeah, we all have our adventure here, and yes, you you feel the intent uh, of, of them, etc. And yeah, children, they really want something real. It's just that they're forced by their parents to go through the process. If I were to have children today, I would not send them to the school system at all. No way. I would raise them uh, at home and, and show them what's real, etc. So, uh, yeah, again, we have the establishment as the, uh, you know, doesn't want to back down as the challenge here uh, to try to get to people. But eventually uh, people will, they will rebel. They, they're they seeing more and more. So a little at a time bothering them and see who steps up. Yes. Fun stuff, Jeremy. Thank you.